Single speeders, you're going to be competing probably for what's called the Galacticum. You can go and win the series if you want to like. If you like, you can go be the fastest single speeder in Dallas, but it ain't going to be the most fun. You're going to have to do some other things along the way, and it's probably going to end up ten men qualify, ten men enter, one man leaves. Somewhere at the end is a mystery event, to where doesn't mean the fastest guy's going to win it. If you're a sluggo and you're kind of big, you might come out on top. You know, you might be able to beat down a little skinny kid. Uh, a few other things that are coming out of it. Um, some of the venues. On the venues in the past, courses have been modified per class. No more. It's going to be one lap, two lap, three laps. They're going to be beginner friendly in that it's not a beginner rider. These are beginner racers. I'm not going to put them into harm's way, but they can ride these courses and they need the same experience as everybody else. I want to give you a near life experience. One of the conversations I had with an individual in times of planning this was a guy that's actually active on the forums, he's becoming to be active in Dorba, got up and he's told me, he's like, you know, four years ago I was in a hospital, I was overweight, I thought I had a heart attack, and you know, I'm looking at my wife, kid, I'm looking at a point I'm going to die. I've got to go do something about it. And he was asking me, he's like, I'm not sure about racing. And I was like, well, let me tell you something. I view racing a little differently. He said the first time he went to Arbor Hills, it took him an hour and 15 minutes to do a lap. Okay, y'all, Arbor Hills ain't that long. All right. <laughs> so then, years progress, he goes on, loses weight. Now he views his mountain bike to where in an hour and 15, he's done five laps or whatever else. He views it as a savior mo of his life in a way, a, preser a, preser a preserving moment. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I'm operating about three hours of sleep from last night. But from it, in the near life moment, he asked me, he's like, what about this racing thing? You know, guys are pushing me to do it. And I kind of view it as like, this is elbow to elbow and everything else. I challenge every single person here to enter the race. Racing is not about the elbow to elbow. A lot of times I show up at the line and I've even said it to guys. And I, I race serious. I take it serious. Anybody's ridden with me, you ring a bell, I'm Pavlov's dog. I take off and run away. You know, it's bad at home even. Um, but you step up to the line, you look at it, and it's just it's one of those moments where you just look at everybody else and you say, you know, this is just a ride. I don't know what the hell the rest of you people showed up for. You just go ride your bike. You come away with it with a story. That's what I want to give you all. I want you to leave with stories that you're going to tell Monday when you come back in. I want to pry you out of the cubicle life. Come over here. Live a weekend in DFW. Not down in Austin. Not a lot in another state. You have a weekend here where your family can come out. They can watch you. You sleep in your own bed. And you get a top quality event here. Both days. So, from that, telling him that, he looked at it and he was like, well, I can do that. I can ride. And yeah, yeah, you can ride. You go ride all the time. Why not come into the race? North Texas Racing is going to have a new face. Part of the new face was developing a marketing team. Something that's probably going to be hard to see is this image. But if you want to come up here and take a look at it, you now have real art. This was done by Farstar, Mike Ryer's company, a marketing company, done by, designed by an artist named Randy McMaster. It's taken off a of Pablo Picasso sculpture. It, invoked, it was used a bullhorn and a saddle. This image is going to be done into 22, 24 by 36 posters, 11 by 17s. It's gonna be on an internet. You're gonna be able to download a screensaver. This is going to go everywhere. This is now, we have a professional look. You'll be able to even go to the web address, NorthTexasSeries.com. From that, all race information will be done. You'll be able to access it in a professional light. And, you know, this is now the new face inside of North Texas Racing. To dispel some ideas about, you know, I've been silent on the forum about what's going to go on in the future. Now let's discuss future. I believe that Dorval should be the premier organizer and promoter of endurance racing in North Texas. There's no excuse at all that we don't have several venues running several different races. I will expand the normal four-hour series and we're going to take it further. 
will find expand venues and it's going to expand time. It was designed as a stepping point to sample the waters to see if it's a good thing. It's already been known. It's a very successful series. We will expand that now, most likely by the time duration, to challenge you a little bit to step out a little further. Probably six. A 12-hour race will be done. Most likely before early, uh, early, late winter, early spring, before the end of the spring, with sites on running a 24-hour race in North Texas. We have two rain or shine event venues in North Texas that it's possible to run one on. And after the experience Rich and I had, where two of my friends took one race, and inside of two years, they took it to the national calendar on a 12-hour event, they gave away 10 bicycles, donated through sponsorship. And it just took work and effort. We have a club that has a membership of 800 people. 800 people. If we had 50% of those working on an event, what could we pull off? The guys in Waco brought a national event to Waco, and I know them. They did it with 25 volunteers. A national caliber event run in Waco with 25 volunteers working their butt off. A little bit more commitment by us. We can do something much better. The difference being is you bring down something like runs off, you know, down at comfort. A good 24-hour race. That you're not, you might not even be there to race. You might just be there to have a good time with your buddies. You align a team. You go down there. You have a good time. So... Part of the future in that is the expansion of the Endurance Series, going to 12 and 24 hour, expanding this. This is a beginning point. This is now what's going to happen right now. What will happen in the future is this series will expand. We can tie into Oklahoma, Wichita Falls, Arkansas. Those guys are already primed to come down. Everybody outside of Texas is jealous of Texas racing because it's very well run. We can do that here. It's just a matter of us putting a little effort. The groundwork's already in place. Teams have already been developed. Jobs have already been handed off and marching orders been given. Many things have already been accomplished that right now that already put this to date. All these venues are now secure. We're ready to go. So let's go forward. If anybody does have any questions or concerns, come to me. I'm Rev on the forum. You know, I'll publish an email address. And I'm an open. I'm open to criticism, comment, or if you just have an idea, or if you want to get involved, please do. There's plenty of places for volunteers, and I have one thing about this. The last thing I will go into is one of the things that comes close to me. Volunteers are our lifeblood. I don't take that lightly. That's one of the jobs that I take that stays with me as the race director. The way I see it is, if you volunteer, you want to race, you race. I'm going to be the guy coming up going, hey man, your race is starting, get out of here. I'll take the job, go, go race. You're part of the event. Attendees and racers, no different. You're all part of the event. Volunteerism shouldn't be taken lightly. The second thing, if I can turn this party over here into the biggest party there is, people will want to come and join it. Oh yeah. You make somebody laugh, you make somebody have a good time, they're like, you know, that wasn't so bad, dude. I'm going back for a little more of that. So from that, I'm going to cut this off, let this movie go. That's a brief window to it. This will go up immediately tonight, along with all information that's pertinent. One thing I did forget, registration online. There will be, for those who race and take it, you know, if this is an issue, there will be online registration that is refundable. So we have rain problems, and we do, don't, we do not run rain or shine. We don't do rain or shine here. You will be able to refund. No problem. It will be handled through sports based online. So then you can register. You will get a $2.50 loss if you do on a rain date on the refund. But registration will save you on the day of and it will save you money. Okay? So right now I'm going to turn it over to the movie. Thank you all for coming out. If anybody does have any questions, find me. On race day, most likely, I'll be in an identifiable something or another. I mean, half the time I wear this stupid thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wear a red shirt or something. But uh, if anybody doesn't have anything as of right now, let's let the movie run. I'm sure y'all are tired of seeing me, and I know I'm tired. Hey, I'll show you when I'm done with you, when I'm done coming over and talking to your mom. You hear me? Hey, wait. Uh, thank you.